they'd like to give a, a COVID update. First of all, let's review the numbers for today. Our uh, total positive cases increased by 83 during the last week. That uh, is a total of 13,070. Active cases uh, went up slightly, and they're uh, up seven, and that's a total of 139. Recovered cases have increased by 76 to a total of 12,799. Uh, we only have uh, six uh, people hospitalized currently. That's down three from last week. And the death total has stayed at 132. No increase in that death total. And um, Sheboygan County COVID-19 activity level is high. We've had a dramatic decrease in our trajectory in the last two months. The current burden rate is at 157 per 100,000 persons. If this trajectory continues to shrink, our burden rate goes, if it goes under 100 per 100,000 persons, the Sheboygan County activity level will improve from high to medium. There are currently 16 registered vaccinators in Sheboygan County. They've all begun to receive their vaccine and are able to assist with vaccinations. The supply of vaccine from the state is currently less than expectations and preventing all sites from operating at full capacity. Uh, new and eligible COVID groups have just been announced. The eligible groups are frontline healthcare personnel, residents and staff in skilled nursing and long-term care facilities, police and fire and correctional staff, adults over 65, education and child care workers, individuals enrolled in Medicaid and long-term care programs, and some public-facing essential workers, non-frontline essential health care personnel, and uh, faculty and staff and residents in congregate living settings. On March 1st, the city of Sheboygan made a decision to proceed with the planning for a 4th of July celebration called Freedom Fest in 2021. This will include Venetian Night Parade, Freedom Run, 4th of July Parade, afternoon entertainment, and fireworks. Uh, because the 4th of July falls on a Sunday in 2021, all Freedom Fest activities will be held on uh, Saturday, July 3rd of 2021. This decision was based on the downward trajectory in the COVID-19 pandemic locally. We need to continue this downward trajectory and get everyone vaccinated. Now, if there would be a spike uh, in new COVID COVID take cases and a serious increase of COVID-19 in Sheboygan, this decision to hold the event could change. So I urge everyone to continue to mask up, wash your hands often, and please keep on practicing these prevented measures. And when you're eligible, please make an appointment to receive your vaccine. 